The new strain of coronavirus, believed to be more contagious, may now also be more deadly. Scientists from the UK, where that variant was first detected, made that announcement today. Our ABC tennis reporter Anthony Pura spoke with a local doctor about this strain that's been detected here in San Diego County and if vaccines out right now can stop it. The first case of the UK strain turned up in San Diego County late December. At the time, doctors didn't believe it was any deadlier than the original, but now researchers say it might be. On Friday, UK officials announced the strain of COVID-19 they first detected in the fall may not just be more transmissible, but also deadlier. There is some evidence that the new variant may be associated with a higher degree of mortality. The so-called UK strain has been detected in the US, including in San Diego County. It's believed to be 50% more contagious and could be 30% more deadly. We need to see more data, but of course it is concerning. Dr. Abby Olulade is with Sharp Reese Daily. She says it's important to emphasize the vaccine should still work to protect against the strain. There's no evidence at this point that the vaccines are not going to be effective against the variants, and so that is an important message. We know that the vaccines elicit what is called a polyclonal response, and there's a scientific basis and evidence for that. County officials are working to get people vaccinated as quickly as possible. Erica Fung tried to take her 88-year-old grandmother to get vaccinated at the Petco Park vaccination superstation earlier this week but couldn't get her grandmother to her appointment because of heavy traffic around the site. Friday morning, Erica brought her grandmother back to get the vaccine, waiting more than an hour in traffic for the shot. The, the second that she got that vaccine, I could just tell she had tears in her eyes because she was just, she was so relieved. The county opened a second super station in the South Bay Thursday. Their goal is to open a total of four super stations and 16 smaller so-called pod locations by February 1st. Erica says it is a relief to the family that her grandmother got vaccinated. It's that reassurance that, hey, we've got a little bit extra protection. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News.